Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, why did I do that? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hey, what's up? My name is Maribel and I'm a personal trainer. Today I have a dumbbell only glute focus workout. But before that, you just saw me in my kitchen. So you're like, why are you in the car now? I just got back from my training sessions. If you don't know, I do private lessons. I used to do it in my house. Now I don't do them anymore in my house. I have no clients in my house. Everything is either in their home or in a gym. I decided for safety reasons, I will not be doing no more home trainings. Everything will be in outside my house. But anyways, I had to make sure that I take care of that business before I recorded this video. So I'm finally home. I really want that little bit. So let me open my garage. I'm finally home and now I'm gonna go ahead and show you a guide again this is a guide when I do guides it's not a follow-along meaning I will be guiding you on how many sets and reps you should be doing I am not gonna do it with you okay hold on guys hold on hold up okay so yeah I won't be doing them with you but um I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to be honest. This is the week after Thanksgiving and your girl has been having too much fun. I took four days off. I was still training people. Not all of my clients. Some took breaks. I personally took two days off. But when I tell you I was having too much fun. I don't drink. I'm not a drinker. But I drank. I was having fun. And... I don't feel good. I feel like, ugh, what have I done? I'm tired. I'm sick. But I still want to do this video for you. So let's get right into this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And your girl has her nails done, which are going to come off because I like them short. I feel like they're cute though. Don't get me wrong. But if you're looking for coach classes, please go to my Instagram. DM me. I love, I love those like i love i love all of my like oh, if you want a coaching lesson even if it's one just to see what it is what it is about please dm me and yeah so anything else i'm missing comment down below what kind of content are y'all looking for for this new year because 2024 yo 2024 i, I know I know everyone says this, but I never said this before. But 2024 is my year. That's my... I'm taking it. That's it. I called it. Nobody else could take it. It's my year. But let's get right into this workout. And yep, let's kill it. As I mentioned before, this workout is strictly for sculpting and growing your glutes. All you need is a pair of dumbbells. So let's grab them and let's get started. Before we get into the workout, we're going to warm up. So first thing is, if you cannot do any of this movement for space purposes, you could do a light jog. However, two, three minutes. For right now, we're going to do leg swings. You should be doing six reps on each side. Remember to perform these warm-up exercises with a control motion. I want you to gradually increase your blood flow and flexibility while also targeting the muscles that we are about to target. I decided to add some side-to-side -side twists because I wanted to engage your core as well as warm up your lower body. Now it's time to elevate your heart rate with a light jog in place jog for about three minutes lifting your knees and pumping your arms this will help you increase blood flow warm up your entire body and get you ready for the upcoming exercises i want to emphasize how important of warming up before your workout is whether you're doing a quick workout or just a excessive session it doesn't matter i want you to always dedicate time to prepare your body for your workout so now we're about to get into the workout and we're going to start off with some heavy squats i want you to make sure that you're holding your core and you're also performing this exercise with control inhale as you are ascending into your squat and exhale as you're pushing back up 
Pay attention to your posture, especially your back, to prevent rounding. You should be doing four sets of 15 reps. However, remember, quality is more important than quantity. Focus on making sure that your form is correct to prevent injuries. Then you're gonna move on to deadlift and you wanna do four sets of eight repetitions. It's extremely important to know that the way you use for deadlifting should be challenging but manageable. And it's super important to always have proper form over lifting heavy weights. Every time I work my lower body, I must add deadlifts. If you don't know, deadlifts are compound exercises which, which targets hamstring, glutes, and lower back as well as a plus your core. It's essential that you always focus on proper form to reduce injuries. If I didn't mention there before, I want you to rest between sets. I allow adequate rest between sets to recover and maintain good form. The last tip for deadlift is to always make sure that your toes are pointing forward. Now we're gonna move to our next exercise. We are performing narrow squats. We are doing four sets of 12 repetition. This program is extremely solid for targeting and scoping your glutes. I am going in with your quadriceps and even engaging your inner thighs. I want you to focus on having your feet closer together than your shoulder width apart. What I have observed by training different type of people is that you should be really experimenting with the exact distance based on what feels comfortable for you. The only thing that I will always mention to everyone, no matter your height and weight, is to always have your toes pointing forward or slightly turned out. We're moving on to narrow deadlift. You want to do three sets of 12 repetitions. I noticed a lot of people do not perform narrow deadlift, but this is a very effective way to target different muscles, particularly when you're focusing on your glutes and also your thighs. It just works your inner thighs and it also emphasizes on the quadriceps, quadriceps, quadriceps and hamstrings. I will also advise to experiment with the exact distance based on your comfort. However, a narrow deadlift is generally narrower than the conventional deadlift stance. I know I'm Spanish, but that was too much R's for me. Like, Jesus. Now we're going to move on to sumo squats. You're doing five sets of 10 repetition. Your glutes should be on fire. We are focusing on your inner thighs, adductors, and also engaging all of your lower muscles. Keep your back straight, chest up, and your shoulders back. Engage your core and also maintain stability. I want you to focus on your breathing. Inhale as you lower into the squat and exhale as you stand right back up. I want you to make sure that you're holding your dumbbells and I want your arms hanging straight down in a fr like almost in front of you or with the dumbbell resting on your shoulders. Depending if you have any shoulder injuries, I would just have them in front of you. You're trying to prevent injuries from happening. Right after that, I went ahead and I did my cycling. Guys, if you have a bike or you have access to one, I would highly recommend this. I'm currently working on my cardiovascular health. If you're looking to do some weight managing or lose weight, cycling is an effective way to burn extra calories, but also muscle toning. Cycling engages various muscle groups, promoting overall muscle toning, especially in the leg, thighs, and your booty, which is why I added it to this program. I did a total of 15 minutes in my cycling, so if you could do 15 minutes to 20, that would be the recommendation. I really love cycling. It's just a quick cardio boost. It burns extra calories. It's just an easy way to be active. However, you do have the option for walking, jogging, doing it outside. It's really up to you. We're back in the car. I hope you really enjoy this workout. I didn't do an outro, so I know I'm doing it now because I suck at intros and outros. I'm still learning. This is new to me. But, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this workout. If you have any questions, any specific questions, either comment down below, DM me. And you already know I'm going to answer you because I answer everybody and their mother. But, guys, thank you again for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Bye. So I got a new camera and I'm trying to figure it out. Honestly, I'm in love with this camera. I'm so in love with this camera. But I'm trying to figure it out. So I'm trying to learn it. So if you see a quality upgrade, you already know what it do. But I don't know how to use this. So, and I'm going to go do my hair. I'm going to do my hair before we do the workout. So let me go ahead and do my hair and then I'll meet you in the gym. We'll be back.